Okay, Math 10, so um, one of the things that you're going to have to do is find the total number of degrees in a given polygon. Um, if I asked you how many degrees are there in a 20-sided polygon, you would have to be able to compute that for me. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to derive a formula that you can use to find the number of degrees in any polygon with n sides. We're going to call the number of sides n because we don't know. Um, so the number of degrees in any n-sided polygon, we're going to derive the formula used uh, to find that. So the one thing that you do know that I did teach you is that there are 180 degrees in every single triangle that exists. All right, so I have a triangle, a quadrilateral, a pentagon, a hexagon. We could keep going, but I'm just going to use these four um, to show you how to derive the formula. So... Right here, you are given a triangle. You have one triangle. You know that one triangle contains 180 degrees. So every single triangle that exists has 180 degrees. So to use this fact to derive the formula, what you need to do for the rest of the polygons is um, choose one vertex and only one vertex. So like for my quadrilateral, I'm going to choose this vertex. You're going to take that vertex and draw a segment, connect that vertex to all the other vertices in the figure. But look, it not this vertex already connected to this one with the side? This vertex and this vertex, those two are already connected. So the only two vertices you need to connect are these two. So we're taking this vertex, drawing a line segment in order to connect it to this vertex. And look at, we have created two triangles. Each of those triangles contains 180 degrees. So we have four sides. We've created two triangles. Each of those triangles is 180 degrees. So 180 plus 180 is 360 degrees. So every single quadrilateral would have one or 360 degrees. So go to a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides. If I choose one vertex and connect that one vertex to all the four, or all four of the other vertices, these two are already connected. These two are already connected. So I'm going to take this vertex and connect it to this one. I'm going to take this vertex and connect it to this one. So when I do that, I now have three triangles each one of those triangles contains 180 degrees. So 180 times three, every five-sided polygon, every pentagon would contain 540 degrees. 180 plus 180 plus 180 is 540. So I'm doing this so we can create a pattern here. Um, the pattern is going to help us derive the formula. So the last one, the hexagon, I'm going to take this vertex, doesn't matter which vertex you choose, I'm just choosing a random vertex. I am going to connect this one vertex to the other five vertices. These two are already connected, these two are already connected. So I have to draw a line segment connecting these two, these two, and these two. So every hexagon has six sides. When I connect a vertex to the other five vertices, I create four triangles. Each of those triangles contains 180 degrees. So 180 times four would be 720 degrees. So every single six-sided polygon, every hexagon, contains 720 degrees. So we are going to use this pattern to create or derive a formula to find the number of degrees in any polygon, no matter how many sides it has. So the number of degrees in any n-sided polygon will always be equal to all right, 180 degrees times the number of triangles that you can create. So I take 180 degrees and I'm gonna multiply that by the number of triangles. But what I wanted you guys to do is use this to determine the number of triangles in any polygon. If you notice the number of triangles is always two less than the number of sides. So in a four-sided polygon, you get two triangles. 
five-sided polygon, three triangles. Six-sided polygon, you get four. If we did a seven-sided polygon, we'd get five triangles. So I need to multiply 180 degrees times the number of triangles. And in order to get the number of triangles, you take the number of sides, n, however many sides there are, and subtract two. That gives you the number of triangles. So this is the formula you will be using to solve some problems that I give you for your homework assignment. Now, I need you to understand too that this formula right here contains two variables. One variable is literally the total number of degrees in the polygon. The other variable is the number of sides in the polygon. So in some of the problems that I give you for homework, in some cases, I'm gonna ask you how many degrees are there in the polygon? In some of the problems, I'm gonna tell you how many degrees and ask you how many sides the polygon has.